Hello everyone and in here we're going to look at another tutorial on ClipChamp where you're going to be focusing on how to zoom in or zoom out on a specific target image and in order for you to accomplish this we are going to look at two ways by which you can achieve this one way is not really straightforward where you have to cut stuff and drag in and drag out which is not the new software that usually all softwares have where it comes to penning in and penning out in a smooth manner however this year you will have to cut it like for example in this case here we have this telescope and we're going to pick a section right over here what we do is we slice it up and one way that the zooming can be achieved is just clicking on the specific image of your choice which is a telescope and this is a normal view here which is at the perimeter within the perimeter however if I want to zoom in to a specific section like this without showing any transition following its path towards that specific point all you just have to do is drag the next clip cut and what you have is this perimeter dragged towards that specific area of the telescope and so what happens is that once you have this accomplished and you hit play and we see the result we can see that you're able to zoom in without showing that smooth transition into it now the other way that you can accomplish zooming in and zooming out is by going to a specific features that is around this area right here and before we do that all we have to do is first focus on a specific part of your clip and let's say if we're going to be looking at this clip and we want to try and achieve a zooming method what we have to do is go to the filter section and once you go to the filter section you should scroll down to the part where it has zoom that is in the terminology and as you're scrolling you should have it somewhere around here which is called slow zoom random and so once you're able to click on that let's see what is the result and what you see is that you can see the telescope slowly moving to a specific position of the choice now let's scroll down further to see what are the other features that are accompanied with the slow zoom random and this shows you not only the speed but the reverse and so clicking on the speed and moving it further to the right we see that it can actually help you to accomplish this task in terms of zooming in to a specific location on your telescope now the drawback here is that when you're adjusting the specific area that you want to be revealed is quite difficult to accomplish that in here so what you have to do is click on the perimeter and drag it further here so that we can focus it on this specific part of the image and so what is the result when you have your image when you have your slow zoom random achieved here what we have is this that is produced and so that is how it is take note that this clip here is from the previous zooming method but for this one here we're showing you the other methods so those are the two ways by which you can accomplish zoom features on your clip using in clip oh, champ we then to zoom out here going into the reverse way you should be able to zoom out based on what we have right here and so to accomplish zooming out all we do is click on your slow zoom random and click on reverse on this and what we should have is the following where it's going to be doing what click on play and it goes back to how it was 
I hope you found this really informative. Please hit the comment down below. Let me hear your thoughts about this. And maybe in the future, they'll be able to have a specific one that is similar to major the softwares that you have, where you have one spot and you have another spot, and the AI tracks that change in where your image is going to be at before versus after. And so that is my future hope for this ClipChamp software. So I hope you found this really informative. Stay smart as always and believe in yourselves.